Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored. Definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much just for, you know, putting your your um, opinions and your views on the videos to let me know that they they resonate with the things that are going on with you it's just a good thing that i'm not going through these things by myself and knowing that the messages from the universe is helping us on our journey to add a piece of the puzzle so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and hit you toward the positive direction also, if you feel like the video is give you good, it gives you good vibes or just good information that you would love to share with a fellow empath or a loved one, family, or friend, um, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you so much for stopping by the channel. And I hope you able, you know, and thank you for the support as well. And thank you. And I hope. Um, you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today the meditation music that I'm using is 952 Hertz self blessing meditation transform inner power energy and I'll post that link in the description box below um today my video is about twin flame 101 figuring out our pain is a piece of the pu missing puzzle it's just like when we go through so many so many things hell and high water it's like a lot of people i'm connecting with you know if they haven't already started going through um spiritual awakenings more and more are starting to go through that and it's just crazy how i'm just still trying to figure out why the heck we got to go through you know some tragic stuff just for us to find out who we are but i guess it's just the fact is um you know we need these tragedies for us to go ahead and investigate um about the things that you know live live you know in our background what our gifts are but it, it's just like it's a piece of that puzzle that gets us to where we need to be we're at jobs we don't like we dread going to them every day <laughs> you know or you just trying to figure out how come you know you go to jobs and you just totally clash like you can be there for a while and it'll be all right next thing you know a week or two later you're like oh my god i'm not liking this job or you know you're clashing with different people or you know their insecurities constantly get pressed out on you and you know i told y'all about that during the other video and it's just like with us as empaths i noticed that you know when it comes to me clearing my you know just anything that is not no longer serving me i'm like dad i don't really came across a lot of narcissistic people you know it's just like they really just press that you know that against you and just knowing you know we go through these things on a daily basis but it's just like you know we hate going through them there's many times you probably don't cry and try to understand why me why do I have to go through all these things but you know like I've told y'all before when we go through these you know traumatizing issues or situations it it really shows our strength it really shows our growth you know a situation can either make you or break you and excuse me if the blessing is making you and no longer breaking you you know it, it can really help you grow and get you on that level where you're supposed to be it's just like there's so many people I know that have you know went through some traumatizing situations and then you know a few months later they're coming out on top you know they might still be you know healing from the things that they went through but then there shows a bigger picture you know it was just like it was this woman um i think it was late last year she her her son was named aiden um he had passed away from some kind of rare uh, cancer and it was just like from her son end up passing away they don't start so many foundations you know there's so many people donating to cancer research especially for children you know it's sad I think it's sad for anybody to go through cancer I've had it myself and you know it wasn't as bad as a lot of people having to go through chemotherapy and stuff like that but I was on a whole bunch of pills where it made me lose weight lose hair and all that stuff but it 
it's no fun. But then for a child to go through it, that's, you know, I feel like that's worse, you know. And next thing you know, his mom won like a Miss America pageant or some kind of pageant or something like that. But, you know, she ended up doing a lot of really good things after that. Um, even though, you know, nobody can replace a child. It was like, it was so many blessings that came by after her son had passed away. It's like her son was used, for example, for a lot of things to get done that they weren't really getting done before when it came to cancer, you know, research, especially for children. So it's just like every tragedy, there becomes a blessing out of it, and, you know, and that's usually the piece of the puzzle that'll help a lot of people. It's just like when I look at my situation, you know, it's a tragic situation. You know, I try not to look at it is like devastation even though it is devastation always any anytime you lose a parent i feel like that's you know that's that's traumatic but just to know that i've helped a lot of people through this tragedy being able to help people put into perspective that they're not by themselves you know you're not going crazy uh, you're not the only one going through the things you go through. You know, there is something very special about you. Even if people call you weird or freakish or whatever, that's very unique. You know, I, you know, some people get mad when they get called a freak or, or you're not, something's wrong with you, you're weird. You know, just because they don't see too many of us like that every day. So I think that's a, you know, I think to me that's, that's a blessing and a privilege at the same time because you don't find too many of us out there. But it is just a blessing to be able to do these videos because it's like when I first came out, I didn't see too many Hayoka videos out there. Yes, I seen a lot of them when it came to the Native Americans and, you know, the backstory about that, which was truly a blessing because I always was very intrigued since I was a little girl, you know, uh, being raised around a lot of uh, Native American uh spots and stuff like that especially with our parents being in the military we stayed in Oklahoma for a while so it was just a lot of different things I got to learn growing up and stuff like that was I was always intrigued by it, but never knew you know later on in life that would play a part a big part of my life you know so it's just like going through this situation there's times you know I told y'all I cry you know y'all see me cry when it comes to my dad but then I can really see the bigger picture, even though I feel like there's more to it. I just don't know it yet. You know, the universe is like a need to know basis. They let you know enough just to get you by. And then it's like the more you do, the more it comes out. So, you know, it's just like looking at that. I always used to ask, you know, why me? You know, why did I have to lose my dad? Or why did I have to find out after the fact? You know, I really found it tragic. But then if I wouldn't have went through all these situations, I would have never knew who I was. I would have been never able to help people like I always said I wanted to. You know, it, it's just like a dream come true to me to be able to do something and, uh, you know, contribute to humanity, humanity, um, being able to make videos and, you know, the things that I go through and, you know, the messages that I get sent to be able to put it out, you know, it's just like we go through so many different situations, you know, so many different ailments, you're like, oh my God, what's wrong with me, you know, I'm shifted, you know, I get very fatigued, I'm having these wild, crazy nightmares or just weird dreams, you know, energy surges going through things, you know, we, we draining batteries. We busting light bulbs left and right, you know, you know, your phone be acting up or your computer acts up, you know, it just depends on how much energy you're soaking up yourself. So, you know, just going through that, you have to really look at your life in a bigger, bigger perspective. Um, even though it might be hard at times, it might be sad, frustrating, and plus annoying, but it's just like when we really step outside the box and look at all the things we're bringing to our lives and you know, going out towards other people, it can be a blessing at times. You know, it has, it, like I tell you, I got it got its little fine print. Yes, it does. But when you look at the big picture, it's just like all of us is playing our part. We're the part of the missing puzzle. You know, I've been told I'm a part of people's missing puzzle, which is a blessing. Like I told y'all, there's a lot of times, you know, it, it takes me a minute to get back to y'all's comments, you know, other than being tired. You know, I, I really get emotional. Just like on my last video, I just really got emotional because it's like I, I can feel energy coming in before I actually put the videos out. I can feel other people's energy, people going through so much pain, suffering, 
you know, emotionally, mentally drained. You know, I know what that feels like. You know, you just keep pushing, you keep pressing on and keep trying to do you the best that you can. And, you know, you just, just get tired. And you're like, when is my time coming? You know, I'm doing what I'm asked of. You know, it's just hard to get through these times. Yeah, it is. But we have to keep going, you know. And it's just like when we least expect it, that's when blessings come through. So it's just like right now, I don't worry about the past. I try not to worry about the past. I'm just releasing a lot of things. I try not to think too much about the future, even though I see certain things and it doesn't make sense to me. But I just keep doing it. But I, I try to stay in the present, try to stay in the now, you know, working on the things I can work on knowing I can be a part of that puzzle, the pain that I have endured for all these years to be able to comfortably open my life up like a book, to be able to tell people, you know, we go through things that cannot be explained. You know, you wouldn't wish it on your worst enemy. Um, but being able to heal from those things and knowing that your life story can be able to help somebody on the next, you know, let them know yeah stuff gets hard shit gets bad <laughs> you know but it's not meant for us to stay in that dark place it's not meant for us to be sad all the time you know you have to there, there has to be a breaking point when um you say hey you know i deserve to be happy it, it's just depressing you know like i told y'all before it's so depressing when i can see manic depressive people out and I'm just like can you please just snap out of it this is not how your life is supposed to be but yet you just feel comfortable with staying there and it's just like you know I try not to be mean and turn away but it's you know it gets annoying to me it really does especially when I see these people and they got a kind soul it's just they just can't see their self out of darkness because they've been stuck there for so long when you try to help them get out, they're so much comfortable. I don't know if they're trying to get attention about it or they just, you need somebody to tell you something to validate you. I mean, I, I tell people all the time, you don't need anybody to validate you. You are enough to validate yourself. But you're not supposed, you're not meant to go through something to be feeling like the, the universe is punishing you. At times it might feel that way, but you have to be able to look at a different perspective. If you aren't put in certain situations and get out of it yourself you know you, you'll still be in you know certain situations suffering you know it's just like there's people that you know I, I've, I've talked to or even situations I've been in where you know you part from different relationships and you ask why do I have to go through this if you knew you weren't happy in this situation it's just you keep seeing all the red flags there and you still stay there because you're scared of change or you're scared that something else might not be good coming along you know, if you didn't have all these things shaking your life up, you'll still be in the same place complaining. So you have to be able to look at things as a blessing and a lesson. It's just like, okay, what did this relationship teach you? Or what did this job teach you? And you learning the lessons off of those things and just say, you know what, I'm blessed that I'm able to see this for what it is. Or I'm blessed I'm able to see this person for who it is. Allow the universe to keep revealing to me and subtracting. You know, I'm good. You know, I don't really talk to... A lot of people where I stay at, I talk to most, most of my people are y'all that I talk to. I don't talk to anybody on a daily basis and I'm okay with that. But it, it's just like when we know we're going through things, it's like you're not going to constantly keep going through things. You know, when you, when you don't give up on life and you keep pushing out positivity, you let go of things that are no longer serving you. And that will put you on the right path that you need to be put on. So don't allow your mishaps and your mistakes and your setbacks keep you in a dark spot. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content in this video. I'm going to push out one more video, y'all. If y'all don't see me tomorrow or whenever this video comes out, um, I don't exercise for almost three and a half hours. <laughs> and my body is feeling like I got into a fight and got hit by a Mack truck. So I'm going to try my best to go ahead and make some videos out. You know, I pushed myself. I didn't think I was going to be able to do any more videos today because me and my daughter it was watching a movie. She wanted to watch the movie Curse uh, with Christina Ricci and I forgot the other dude from Dawson's Creek. But it was kind of funny. I love that movie anyway. But I hope y'all have a blessed weekend or we'll finish having a blessed weekend. Um, drop me a line. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. You know, at, drop me a line so I can go ahead and give you a shout out in my, you know, following up video. I'm going to go ahead and give a shout out to uh, Donna Hardy, Empath uh, Caliber Inc., and Stacey Folly and Ray Vaughn. 
Diefelt, Diefelt, I hope that I pronounced your last name right, I apologize. So send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there is always someone out there praying for your better days. And I will see you on my next video. Much love, peace, and be wild.